Hi everyone, my name is Olga and I am a traveling Ukrainian tour guide. On my channel you can see the charming places around Europe and also you can see Ukraine. Today I am taking you to Strasbourg and I would like to show you the dreamy place. We are going to explore the streets around the cathedral and during the Christmas time they are beautifully decorated by the enchanting huge installations. When you are walking along the streets, you feel you are not here, you are not from this world, you are somewhere dreaming. Probably you are a child and you can um, just delve into your children's dreams. Subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video and follow me um, to learn more and to see more adventures. You can. Um, check the section of live streams because I have the live streams every week. You can enjoy them for free and you can see the beautiful European cities and discover them with me. Strasbourg is a magical city that shines during Christmas. And now we are taking a nightly stroll through this breathtaking cobblestone streets. Every corner of Strasbourg have this wonderful Christmas displays that radiate joy and happiness. Strasbourg itself is a gorgeous picturesque French city, and it had been German during the different periods of time through the history. It has absolutely fantastic cobblestone streets, medieval architecture, these small shops, stores, restaurants are so cute and lovely. You can literally see, feel smell and taste the German and French cultures. Local people and tourists are relaxed and friendly. Building's exteriors can boast a huge variety of themes that will capture your imagination. You can see baubles, horses, big and small dwarfs, fancy balloons, um, fir trees, um, uh, this huge white birches, which are fancifully illuminated and glowing with purple color at night. Like now you can see the red mushrooms and someone is even making this um, small bubbles from the uh, window over the people's uh, heads. Like many cities in France, Strasbourg truly has its own original, um, incredible character. And this Christmas character suits the city. Have you ever been wandering along the fairy tale Christmas market? It is here in Strasbourg, and this feeling is even more enhanced by the beautiful and wondrous medieval architecture of the little old town. This is the most dreamy location ever. You can definitely spot these bubbles falling on the passers by um, heads. So when is it all happening? Already at the end of November, the streets of Strasbourg change almost beyond recognition. The city is dressed up and decorated and lit up. It's prepared for the Christmas festivities. What is interesting, these changes, they don't happen gradually, but literally in one day or probably overnight, from calm and romantic, Strasbourg becomes noisy, shiny, bright, bustling, 
and it seems as if it literally bursts with fun, abundance and light during this Advent days. Everything is decorated. Trees, houses, windows, electric wires, roads, benches. Probably, if it were possible to decorate the sky, Christmas hearts, teddy bears, Christmas balls would hang from every cloud and Christmas pastries would fall to the ground. When you are walking along the streets of December Strasbourg, you realize that the dreams come true and you believe that fairy tales can become reality, probably for one night, but they can become reality. Strasbourg is called the capital of Christmas, and there is a reason for that. During the Advent season, it's not just the Christmas markets, it's not just the areas um, where you can buy the fast food or some specialties that are decorated, but the entire historical district is decorated and transformed into the Christmas fairyland. Almost every building, it seems, it has its own unique, tasteful, entertaining and enchanting decorations. The walls of the houses are hung with the huge garlands, bouquets of artificial flowers with the beads, red bows. Uh, the windows are decorated uh, with the different shades and shapes of the shining Christmas candles, but the feature of Strasbourg are these huge plush hearts and bears. Uh, the bears usually have the red ribbons on their, uh, around their necks, and they are hanging from the window sills and just from the walls. Everywhere you can spot the figures in the form of Christmas cookies, but these cookies um, are much bigger than the average human height. Uh, basically, each street has its own nuances and details, because the imagination of the decorators is simply boundless. Let me share with you some symbols of French Christmas. The main symbol of French Christmas is the Christmas tree. The first Christmas tree was established in France in 1738 in Versailles. Later, the royal custom was adopted by the high society and then by the common people. In our time, the tradition of decorating Christmas tree with lantern and ribbons has been preserved and it is quite a usual thing to dress it up with the whole family. But. Many years ago, there was a tradition to decorate the Christmas tree with the apples. During the development of Christianity, the paradise tree was represented in the form of the fir tree as a symbol of eternity with the, its evergreen needles. And in France, it was decorated with apples, uh, not just because uh, according to the biblical version, but because of the local realities. Uh, Brittany and Normandy are the main apple-growing regions in France. In those old days, people would rub the apples to shine and gift the apples to their kids. Beside apples, uh, according to the ancient beliefs, the Christmas tree was supposed to be decorated with paper snakes. As the time passed, apples became Christmas balls and snakes became garlands. So some of the French traditions are also present in our homes every year for New Year's Eve and for Christmas. At December 25th, the children are waiting for their winter wizard, Pierre Noël. In the evening, if you listen carefully, you can hear the hoofs of his donkey, whose name is Mistletoe, and the hoofs are clattering on the sidewalk. The children usually leave uh, the straw and carrots for him by the fireplace. The donkey is carrying a basket with presents and 
Pierre Noel is walking beside him in his wide-brimmed hat. The most famous French uh, Christmas tradition is the burning of the magical Christmas log. This tradition spread to France uh, from Brittany, and it is a legacy of the Druid Celts. It appeared in the 12th century. Usually, the log uh, was made by all members of the family in the courtyard of the house. Uh, traditionally, it was the solid log made from the oak or cherry wood. From Christmas to New Year, the log was in the house, and after the holidays, people watered it with brandy and oil, and it was burned. The coals from the log were carefully collected and kept all the next year for good luck. Today, especially in the cities, very few people... Uh, perform such a traditional burning, and instead they symbolically buy or prepare a dessert in the shape of a log, and the tradition is preserved and the table is set. The oldest Christmas market in France is considered to be the Strasbourg Christmas market and it dates back to the 1570. Currently, the market is made of uh, 300 different chateaux and they are located in the different districts of the city and they sell arts and crafts, food, Christmas decorations. We are approaching the most Instagrammable street in Strasbourg or probably even in the world during the Christmas time. Uh, there are a lot of uh, soft plush bears hanging from the windows and walls of the houses. When the sun shines during the daytime, the street is also beautiful. But at dusk and at night when the lights are on, that is the perfect moment to make your snaps. Now you know uh, the main three reasons why Strasbourg is called the capital of Christmas. First of all, because of this beautiful street uh, with the bears. Uh, the second reason is that uh, Christmas tree was born in Strasbourg. And the third reason is that the oldest Christmas market in France um, originated in 1517 in this beautiful city. Words can't express how happy I was to be able to visit the capital of Christmas during the festive season. If you are visiting enchanting Strasbourg during the late November and uh, December, make sure to bring the empty suitcase because you are going to want to buy everything here.
was wonderful to show you this dreamy vacation. Join me for more tours, hit the subscribe button and like this video to learn more about Europe and beautiful Ukraine.